Welcome to this Excel quickie. Here I'm going to show you an amazing new function for Excel called the text join function and it's going to allow us to very easily combine text from separate cells. Here I'm going to show you three examples for it. One with some basic text, a list, and a little part number. You know I like to use those in my examples. So let's get started. This function is so easy it should have been here from day one. Equals text join, you see it there, concatenates a list or range of text strings using a delimiter. So first we tell it what we want to come between the parts that we'd like to put. We're going to do a space for the first example and put it within quotation marks, so a single space. Now do you want to ignore the empty cells or do you want to include them? So we will go with ignore for the first example, doesn't matter. And now you have a bunch of different options. So you could type in individually each part that you want to combine, but that's ridiculous and that's probably never how you're going to use this. What you're going to do is to select a range like that. So you have your delimiter if you want to ignore blanks or not and the range of values to combine. And look at that. How great is that? I used to use a UDF to do this, and the UDF worked quite well, I might add, user-defined function. But now we have it already built into new versions of Excel, equals text join. It is really, really great. Now, I said that usually you're going to use it on a range just like this, but in this example, there are a couple more things you might want to do. So let's say that you want your space for the delimiter. Ignore empty, sure. And let's say for the first one, you want this, but you want to make it proper case. So this is where it comes in handy to use multiple arguments for the text down here instead of a single range. Now we could do this. And if you wanted to, you could put the period here, or you could put it outside of the text join function and use an ampersand to concatenate it. I'll show you that in one moment. But now we have a function that looks like this. And let's see how that works. This is my text. And notice that we get a capital T for the beginning. We get our spaces. It looks great. However, see how the period has a space before it? So that's not what you want. And that brings me to my point that if you want to put something extra on the end of it like that, you just go here and we put an ampersand, which is how you used to have to combine values, basically, period, and do it like that. And now we get quickly combined text that looks exactly how we want it to look. All right, let's do it with a list now. A lot of people do this example and it works perfect for lists. So our delimiter this time is going to be a comma and then a space. Ignore empty. Let's leave it at true for now. And I'll show you false in a moment. And select our values. There you go, apple, pear, orange. Now let's do the same thing, but let us not ignore empty cells. So we're going to include empty cells. And you can look at the difference. So notice we have something here that has nothing. So it's comma, comma. Usually you will want to ignore empty cells, but you don't have to. And finally, let's go and do a part number example. I use these a lot in tutorials. And we're going to do a dash and I would like to ignore. The reason I use part numbers a lot, by the way, is I've done a lot of work with part numbers. And you get a lot of part numbers in a worksheet, you're going to have to do some work with them. So here we're going to combine separate pieces of the part number to form a single one. And there you go. Now the last thing I need to show you for this tutorial, it's so important, is that once you have this, you probably don't want it to just be a formula, the text join function. You don't want that. You're probably going to want it to be Let's just make another one, copy this guy, and go down here. You're going to want it to be what you actually see. And you've got what is maybe the most important keyboard shortcut in Excel right now. Control C to copy it. Alt E S V. Enter. Now it is exactly what you see. And that was just copy paste special values. You can do it by copying and then right clicking and going to paste special values. but Keyboard shortcut, much easier. Control C, Alt ESV, 
enter. And that's it for the text join function. It's a great new function for Excel and it's going to make your life a lot easier.